This video is brought to you by Quiz Tones, my all-time favorite app for learning frequency. Go grab it. Hello, friend. How's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to mix faster. So I'm going to show you a really simple technique that allows you to save your entire track settings for your reverbs, for your delays, for your slap delays, and how you can save those to access them super quick to allow mixing to be faster and more fluent and you don't have to think about it and add a bunch of plugins. So how we're going to do this is with library presets. If you don't know what library presets are, you hit this little symbol right here that uh, will say library when you hove over it or you can hit Y on your keyboard. Y brings up that library. Now you have a bunch of settings here that GarageBand gives you, and when you click any one of these, it adds a bunch of plugins to your track, it sometimes names your track, it'll do a color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own custom library presets to allow you to get to these reverbs that we make on this channel. If you've watched my channel before, I like to make my own reverbs here on these tracks. That way I have a physical track and a physical fader to move along. If you're not sure how to do this, I have a video right here that you can click and watch it. Watch that first and then come back to this. All right, so if we open up, so we're gonna click our reverb, we're gonna open up our smart controls here and look at our plugins. Okay, we have this Tens Junior. It's a very, very good reverb, completely free reverb. If you want access to all the free plugins that I love, you can click the link down below. Um, I have a list for you. So we have this really nice reverb setting that works for great vocals. And then we have this EQ that is after the reverb setting. That way it's taking a lot of the low end mud out of this reverb and a lot of the high end. Let's listen to it really quick. So this is just the lead vocal with the lead vocal reverb. Riding the waves, beating the shore, no. All right, if we mute it. Riding the waves, beating the shore, no matter the where. And if we turn off this EQ, Riding the waves, beating the shore, no matter the where, life must go on. It just cleans up the reverb. It makes it really nice, makes it really satisfying, and it makes it fit into the mix a lot better. If you have a lot of low end in your reverb, it can really muddy up your mix super fast. What's cool about this is we can create these effects, we have these plugins, but you know, if we wanna do this again, we'd have to add another track, add plugins, add the EQ, and do this over and over and over again. And you can see here that I have three different vocal effects here. So I have a vocal verb, a slap delay, and I have just a normal kind of stereo delay that's got three different plugins on it. So this one has a delay, it's got a a little bit of a reverb, and then of course that similar EQ here that cleans up the mix, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save these so that we can use them later. And we're gonna start with this lead vocal reverb. So if you open up your library and you go down here to save, all right, it's gonna go, it's gonna give you a window here, patches, audio. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go advanced and keep this really organized, and we're gonna create a new folder. And we're gonna call this Vocal Reverbs, okay? And so we're gonna name this one Lead Vocal Spring Verb, and then we're gonna put short, actually, because this is a short reverb for like a faster song. So Lead Vocal Spring Verb, we've got it in the correct folder, and we're gonna hit save. All right, so when that happens, you see right here that we have our Lead Vocal Spring Verb and we can go back to our user patches by clicking this button. So now we have this new folder that showed up called user patches. So if we select user patches and then we select our vocal reverbs, there's our setting right there. It's pretty cool, right? All right, so let's save a couple more. So we're gonna go to lead vocal slap and we're gonna go to save. Now this is a delay. So instead of saving it in the vocal reverbs, we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call this, um, We'll call this vocal delays, create, perfect. And so lead vocal slap, I typically never change this setting. I use the same milliseconds. I just love the way this sounds, the same plugins all the time. So I'm just gonna be clicking this all the time. So we hit save and we can see if we go back to user patches that we've got user patches. Now we have our two folders, vocal delays and vocal reverbs and we can click there and see our lead vocal slap. The reason I put these in uh, folders is because as you start adding these, it can really add up and there's just tons of presets that are all over the place. And so if you start by creating folders and really cleaning stuff up and making it nice, it's just easier to navigate and easier to find. All right, so we have one more. We have our lead vocal delay. So uh, 
this one, we're just going to say save. We're going to save it in our delays. And we're going to say lead vocal del w verb. So with verb, because there's reverb in there. Save. So I'm just trying to create a label that I know is going to have um, a good setting, right? So lead vocal delay with verb. And then we have our lead vocal slap. So now we have all our presets. So what's cool is if I delete these tracks, so we're just going to delete them and we're going to recreate them just to show you how awesome this is. So we're in a mix. Let's just say we're in this mix. It's starting to sound really good. I'm going to create some reverbs and delays now, right? So I'm going to solo my lead vocal here and I'm going to go to share, export song to disc. And then we're just going to save this in our downloads and call this lead vocal verb um, one, because I think I have a couple of these. And we're going to make sure that we're wave uncompressed 24 bit. And then we'll do cycle area so that it bounces just right there. It exports just in this cycle area. Hit export. This should go super quick. Awesome. Now I can go down to my downloads. I can bring this in. And when, when you're doing this, we want to make absolute sure that our audio is lined up, right? So it looks lined up. Let's play it. It should just sound louder. Riding the waves, beating the shore. Okay, so let me show you what it sounds like when this is slightly off. Just so you have a reference of why we're doing this. I see this a lot. So let's just say it looks like we're close. It's like, oh, okay, cool. We're, we're good. Riding the waves, beating. That's not good. We don't want it to sound like that, right? We want it to sound just Riding louder. Riding the waves, beating. Perfect. So now what I would normally do is I would select my lead vocal verb. I'd, tr I'd find a good reverb and EQ. I'd do this whole process. But now since we created our user patches, I can just go here, go to my reverbs, and you'll eventually have a list here of things you can choose. So it gets really fast because you can kind of go through different presets and find what works best for you. We're just going to select this here. All right, it color-coded our track. Perfect. It named it. So we have lead vocal spring verb short. And then we have our exact plugin settings ready to go. So now, if I solo my lead vocal and I solo this uh, reverb, let's hear how it sounds. Riding the waves, beating the shore, no matter the where, life must go on. Sounds great. It's a good sounding reverb. It's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to add our delays. We're going to bring in our lead vocal verb. Same, you can just bring in the same track, doesn't matter. And then we're going to make sure this, these sound right. Riding the way. Okay, just sounds loud, <laughs> right? Now we're going to go to our user patches, and we're going to add our slap delay. So we'll add our lead vocal slap. All right, so it added our, our Valhalla, 133 milliseconds, added our nice EQ, and we'll get a good sound here. Riding the way, beating the shore, no matter the where, life must go on. Riding the waves, beating the shore, no matter the where, life must go on. All right, sweet. Let's do one more. Same track. We're going to bring it in. All right. We're going to make sure that it's lined up. Riding the wave. Which it is. And then we're going to go to our user patches, go to delays, and then this time we're going to do vocal delay with reverb. So you can see it added our tracks really nice there, our plugins. And then let's uh, get a good setting here with all these. Let's start with just this one. Riding the way. So that is a glitch with this, uh, this delay. For some reason, when you first bring it up, it just ramps up to the right milliseconds. Riding the way. And then it goes away, as you can hear. All right, so let's get a good volume here. Riding the way, beating the shore, no matter the where. Life must go on, riding the way, beating the shore, no matter the where, life must go on, riding the way, beating the shore, no matter All right, cool. Let's do a before and after of, of these settings. So we're going to mute our reverb for these first two lines, and I'll turn it back on.
can hear how much life that gave to the track. It's starting to sound like a mixed track, even though we have a rough mix with all the instruments. It's it's really awesome, and it was super fast. It was super fast. Once we had our, our presets saved, we just moved around and got them in a really good place. And it's awesome because, again, once you start creating these and you get a list of really nice reverb sounds, you can just click them. You can start just clicking, and if you don't like this reverb sound, you might like the next one, or the next one, the next one. It becomes just really powerful. That way, it saves so much time, you don't have to go through and be like, okay, here's a slap, I need to add this effect, add this setting, here, get my EQ, maybe even if you use presets here, which is fine, but it just takes a lot of time. And when you have these library settings here, you can just super quickly grab them at a glance. And it's not just effects and reverbs. You can also do this with drum sounds. You can do this with EQs and compression. And even to give yourself like a, a starting place, like this lead vocal. We have a bunch of plugins on this lead vocal getting this lead vocal to sound like this. I could actually save all this to just to give me a start, just so it's like, okay, my plugins are on here. I could even save them with all the plugins off so that I just kind of add them one at a time and make sure they sound good. Uh, it gets really powerful from here. And if you want to see more on how these library presets can really, really enhance how you mix, uh, just throw it in the comments and I'll make a more comprehensive video in terms of like settings and how to, how to get really good track settings. I hope this helps you learn a little bit about mixing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week, friend.